Welcome, today we will be disassembling an Alienware 14 gaming laptop and uh, we're going to be using a 2.5 Phillips head bit. Let's go ahead and turn it over and then we'll remove the screws for the bottom cover. Now just lift up on the cover and give us access to some of the internals of the laptop. Alright, first we will disconnect the battery. And this one's kind of recessed in there, so you'll need some kind of tool to pry up on the connector. And then once you have that, just remove the screws. Right, now we'll remove the memory, just spread the little retainers, and then you can pull out the memory stick. And right, I'll go ahead and uh, remove the optical drive. So I'll go ahead and pull up on that little connector retainer, and then remove the ribbon. All right, now we can remove the hard drive with the caddy. So just pull up on the connector and remove the screws. And then remove the hard drive. Just got two screws on each side. All right, now we can get the Wi-Fi card, and um, we'll also remove the bottom case screws to get ready to separate the palm rest. All right, now we can do the Wi-Fi card. Just pull up on the antennas to release them, and then remove the screw. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, all the visible screws here on the bottom so I can separate the palm rest from the bottom case assembly. All right, once you have all the screws out, um, we'll go ahead and just release any ribbons that are uh, exposed on this side. And with this thigh, just flip up the little retainer and then the ribbon will come out. And we can go ahead and get that display cable. Just pop straight up. And then we can go ahead and flip it over. And just pull up on the palm rest. So there's no more ribbons connected, and then you can remove it. All right, now we'll go ahead and uh, remove the keyboard from the palm rest assembly.
Then just make sure to uh, disconnect the ribbons from the interface board. Go ahead and unstick the power button ribbon. And just kind of wiggle it out of the connectors there at the top. And you have the keyboard. And then we go ahead and remove the power button. All right, so uh, if you want to get to the touchpad, it's just a few screws and um, speakers, just a couple screws. All right, so we're almost ready to release the display as well. Um, it's kind of unbalanced with the display still connected, but there is one more ribbon or cable that needs to be disconnected and it is right here. So it's kind of recessed in there and it is also taped. You can get your fingers in there, just pull up on the tape, and then you can use a flat edge to push the connector out. And just go ahead and feed it through the little channel so it can be pulled out from the other side. Flip it back over, and we want to pull the ribbons from the display that are coming out of the display uh, through the case. About everything is taped in this laptop. Okay, so once we have those cables through, we'll go ahead and remove the hinge screws. When you remove the last screw, just make sure to support the display with your thumb or your other hand. And you can remove the display assembly. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the cooling fan. And then push that connector out with your fingernails. All right, we'll go ahead and do the uh, DC jack. So we'll go ahead and get that connector out of the way. And pull the connector out of the motherboard. All right, now we can finish removing the connectors on the motherboard and uh, remove the motherboard. And 
and the pram battery can just stay there. And once you have these screws out, then we can go ahead and lift up on this side. And then just pull it free from the ports on this side. You're not gonna be able to lift from the port side because they're stuck. They're kind of jutting out through the case. And there is your motherboard. All right, now we can go ahead and take apart the display assembly. So first we're gonna separate the bezel from the rest of the assembly. This one is pretty easy. Just, just kind of pull up on the inside and start working your way around. So once you have the bezel unsnapped, then you can access the screen and the hinges. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and remove those hinges first since they're really easy to get to. Right now we can remove the screws holding in the LCD screen and remove it. Just make sure the video cable is kind of free from any clip. It looks like the video cable is glued to the back cover behind the LED, so we'll go ahead and remove that now. We'll go ahead and flip the LCD screen over and then just gently pull back on the tape holding it on. And then there's a little bar right here you have to flip up with your fingernail. And you can pull the LCD from the video cable. All right, so for the video cable, um, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect it from the webcam. And just kind of pull it up from both sides underneath the little cover and then you can feed the video cable underneath it.
All right, so the webcam looks like there's just one screw. And you can remove the webcam. All right, so the LEDs, uh, you can see uh, just a few screws and the Wi-Fi antennas are just kind of fed through the little retainers and are held on by adhesive. So we're gonna go ahead and leave those on um, this model, but I mean, once you have the screen off, everything's really easy to get to. So that is how you take apart an Alienware 14. Uh, if this video helped you or you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.